We are just nine days away from Albuquerque's 43rd annual balloon fiesta. As visitors plan their drive to the park, a concern might be the construction around Paseo del Norte. Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz spoke to the State Department of Transportation, who says not to worry. She joins us now live. Shelly, right next to me here is where the bulk of this construction project continues. We're right at I-25 and the intersection with Paseo. Now, I think it's safe to say that this project has been a, a pain for people for the last uh, year. But officials tell us that for balloon fiesta, this will be painless. 548 balloons will take to the sky for this year's balloon fiesta. The event brings thousands from across the country to Albuquerque. That's why state transportation officials say construction crews around Paseo del Norte know not to interfere with the nine day event. It's been a group effort to try and make sure that we have as little impact as possible on Balloon Fiesta. DOT spokesperson Phil Gallego says that means very few road closures in the mornings, evenings, and during special events. Arrange their hours so they're working around peak times for the Balloon Fiesta. Gallego says what would have been the biggest snag for drivers is probably any closures here on I 25, but he says construction. Construction crews will keep three lanes open in both directions for most of Balloon Fiesta. I-25 certainly is part of the uh, way to get to Alameda and Tramway, which are the main access points for Balloon Fiesta. He says if there has to be road closures, those will only fly if nothing big is going on at the park. Now, transportation officials tell us this project is 80% done. They also say that the changes that they're making for Balloon Fiesta will not affect their time frame, so they still expect to be done here in December. Live in at uh, Paseo and I-25, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. And for a complete list of what roads will be open during Balloon Fiesta, just head to our website and click on As Seen on 7. Some people living in northwest Albuquerque battle major traffic every morning. Some